how's it been to uh, kind of uh, get ready for uh, Tough Enough here? It's been great. Um, I'm coming off of uh, gallbladder removal in December, so getting back into the swing of things and having a date to train for something was really good. Um, yeah, you're natural 105er and you're going after this. Obviously, it's a big opportunity for you. How has it been to um, to be able to fight here at 115 and um, get, like, prepare for this? Because obviously, this girl's going to be a little bit bigger than you are. Um, I train with nobody uh, smaller than me or my size, so it's really no different in the training regimen that I have, um, other than the fact that I got to pretty much eat whatever I wanted. <laughs> That's obviously going to be an advantage coming to the house, because you always got to maintain weight. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, my cut will be nice and easy. <laughs> um, and um, I mean, you have a pretty impressive record right now as well. I mean, uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think the producers will see in you to get you in the house? I just hope they see the dynamite, man. See, see what I'm made of and uh, the work I've put in over the years in MMA. What do you think of the cast so far? You know, I think it's great. I love a lot of those girls. I, I know them. You know, I'm friends with them. So it'd be exciting to get in the house with them and, and uh, get a train with them and things like that as well. Yeah, I mean it, it's a, it's a great cast so far, and like I said, you're you're one of the uh, one of the top uh, 105 ers I think right now. Um, and what are probably going to miss in the house? I'm sorry, what? Um, you know, besides your friends and family, what are you what are you going to miss in the house maybe uh, for the next six weeks during uh, this question? Um, my teammates, just you know, my everyday life, my dog, going to my own bed, you know, things like that. You got to adapt and change though, so I'm willing to uh, take that six weeks and learn as much as I can. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Julie's going to be here. We've, we've got me, maybe Scott Cuffer for RFA is going to be here as well. Um, you know, not just to be able to be on the show, but what, what's, what's it mean to you to be here and to be able to uh, show you scales, not just at UFC, but other matchmakers? You know, it means a lot to me. Um, preparing for this actually was a, quite a big challenge. Not only did I train for it um, and kept the weight up, but I also, like I said, came out of a surgery, so mentally that was even more, more of a thing for me. Um, so... You know, for me to be able to pass those stones and be here and ready to, to debut what I have um, is very exciting to me and it, it means the world to me to have all the people that I do supporting me and things like that as well. Yeah, I mean, how was your trip out from Denver and um, I mean, how has it been to train for this thing? Is, and where Have you been working on anything specific? Um, the trip out was crazy. We had like every weather storm you could get driving from Colorado through Utah into Vegas. Um, uh, I'm sorry, what was the other part of that question? Um, what, what are you preparing? How are you preparing? You know, i just doing what I do. I, I, my Muay Thai, my wrestling, I train with uh, Rhino Sports Gallery. I have my professor, Baka, for jiu-jitsu, my Muay Thai team, and we all tie it together, and we, we train and make game plans specifically. So, um, you know, I've, I've hit every realm that I need to. And, um, you know, anybody you want to thank? Any sponsors? Um, you know, I would love to thank everybody in Denver for supporting me, all my sponsors that support me, uh, my teammates, my family, everybody. Thank you.